multiply the following complex numbers. When we multiply complex numbers, we basically treat them like polynomials, except in the end, the end result must be in standard form. Now the standard form of a complex number is a plus bi. So for example here in exercise a, I have 5 times 2 plus 6i. Just applying the distributive property, that's 10 plus 30i. And that's it. That's all we have to do. 3i times 6 plus 4i. Applying the distributive property yields 18i plus 12i squared. But this is not acceptable because it is not in the standard form. We need the standard form a plus bi. Recalling our basic definition of i, if i is equal to the square root of negative 1, then squaring both sides, i squared is equal to negative 1. And that might seem strange, but mathematically it's acceptable. So since i squared is negative 1, that's the same as 18i plus 12 times negative 1, where I made that replacement, i squared is negative 1. So that's 18i minus 12. But that's still not right. The standard form is always a plus bi. The real part comes first. So we would write that as negative 12 plus 18i. Exercise C asks us to multiply 4 plus 7i by 2 minus 9i. Foiling, which is basically just the, an extended distributive property. 8 minus 36i plus 14i minus 63i square. We have some like terms here. So I have 8 minus 22i and then minus 63i square. Well now recall i square is negative 1. So that becomes 8 minus 22i minus 63 times negative 1 becomes a plus 63. Combining the like terms and writing in the standard form, 71 minus 22i.